like, I mean, I got all my sleeves done in prison, right? And when I was there, I we got, could tell. I got infantry done on the back of my arm because I still had this like insecurity of like, I don't want to just be covered in tattoos as right. a convict. I want people to still know that like. I'm a fucking soldier, dude, for mm -hmm. life. That's it. Like, that doesn't go away. 11 Bravo is one of the... Uh, getting turn, My turning blue ceremony was one of the proudest things that I will never forget that day, you know? And I talked to Matt yesterday about all my stuff from the military, and I did some stuff with the 10th group in Bosnia, and, uh, w like, it was kind of like it didn't happen. So I got this, like, certificate from them that was nothing. But to me, I was like, yo, I got a certificate from the special joint operation thing, uh... And they gave me a coin. And to have a coin, you guys know about getting the coins. Oh, it's like yeah. you get one from your command sergeant major or whatever it is for PT and shit. You're like, yeah, great. Yeah. But I had that SF coin, and I was like, man, this is the coolest fuck. I don't need an ACOM. I don't need shit ever again in my time. And I had storage back in Boston, and due to my addiction and shit, and I couldn't keep up with it. And everything from my uniforms to wow. my, my uh, uh, Army Achievement Medals to whatever it is, phew, gone. You know? You, you know how many times I, that, that, that's... And it's sad, man. That, that hurts. People. Like, I told yeah. Matt yesterday, and I knew at the same time, it's like you could feel that. You know what I mean? Like, I was so proud of that coin, dude, for what I did and So what if was. anybody's listening and has an extra one of those coins, please <laughs> yeah, send they, it to those the Those are not gentlemen. in abundance, but... Uh, Listen. Matt, Matt and I actually got some cool stuff coming in, man. We got uh, yeah. a buddy of mine has... Uh, he's got back, and uh, he got some uh, of the last coinage that uh, ISIS had. Wow. Oh, so getting sent over pretty but I'm no a, i'll make a tooth out of it for this one that's fucking i thought you were gonna use the dinosaur head. fossil for that dude <laughs> i thought you were about to make a dinosaur fossil uh, shout out would. to dinosaur andy <laughs> real quick dinosaur andy. Dinosaur, dinosaur andy we love you bud um so yeah i don't know we got 10 minutes so let's talk about aaron's anger yeah man yeah no. why are you so angry why are you so fucking Damn. angry bro i don't know Man on the street. So what we were, but what you we do. Were, I mean, we had a we had a pretty, and that's so, the thing. And that's what we talked about in the in the ocean last night, you and I. Like together. Yeah, together. I had him just, cradled just him like this. Yeah, reverse, reverse, him reverse into the waves. Like, like a reverse. Like a like Did you so baptize him? <laughs> dick to dick. So he was holding Jesus. me in the ocean, <laughs> and you know I kind of opened up a little bit because he was like, "Why are you always so mad? Like, why are you always so pissed <laughs> off?" And he's like, and I was like, "I'm not. It's just like the." <laughs> So with the military, right, you've got your structure. You know where you need to be. You have higher-ups that take control of things. You, you're not in control, but you have the foundation and the support system. And then you get out. You either have your friends who re-enlisted or are still in, or, you know, everyone's fucking, everyone's gone, doing their own thing. And you're just left alone. That's what that guy, when he called, and that's that's what he feels. He's yeah. alone. Yeah. Well, he, you suffer that, like, yeah. you know, that thing I didn't deploy. So I didn't do enough. You suffer that. Then yeah. you get out and go, like, dude, you get me a machine gun, I'm in. You, yeah. you tell me to go clear a building or what needs to be done and this and the but checkpoints. You can't. But now you're telling me I got to go sell cars and listen to some fucking fat guy that this is his dad's business that's going to talk shit to me all day long when I'm like, I could kill you with my bare hands. And how do I turn that off? Or how do I make dude, being I a think... saw gunner useful in society? Dude, when when the Black Lives Matters, when that shit like really took off, I had a customer come in the dealership and she refused to work with me because she thought my mind was elsewhere. She was like, with everything going on, I don't think he's focused. I would be more comfortable working with somebody else. Imagine. What? Imagine that. And I'm like, bitch, you have no fucking idea. Right. You know, she so had an army shirt on. I was That's... like looking at her like, dude, yeah. you have no idea who... That's the kind you know of, I mean? but that's the kind of racism that's really the problem in this country. Exactly, that's actually the issue. You know, it's like it's the it's like the liberal lady calling the police on the guy who was like, "Why didn't you pick up your dog shit yeah. in Central Park?" Bird watching. Yeah, oh, God. yeah, yeah. Having a barbecue, that kind of shit. Like that's like it's not the Ku Klux Klan. It's not a bunch of skinheads running that's around nice hanging people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Two of the guys who got hung in California. Those ki those kids were on a YouTube show called Bust a Pedo. They they fucking uh, went online. They were all like college kids or high school kids, and they would go online. They had a YouTube a little YouTube channel, and they would talk to pedophiles, have them meet them, and then film them and bust them. Uh, okay, yeah. and then oh, two yeah, of them yeah. ended up hanging from trees. And it was called like, oh, this is a Trump's America, and I'm like, oh, really? That's weird. Yeah. But you didn't report what really happened. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, bro. It's crazy. 
Well, yeah. I mean, anytime you can control what narratives put out, that's a total different. Like, it, it's it's weird, man. Because even you can do it with social media. You see people with social media, man, and, and they yeah. like with the whole living a different lifestyle stuff. That's why I tell people all the time. I, I put it up. If you look at my social media, that's point ten percent of my life right. ever. Yeah, ever, it's also dude. the echo chamber, though. Like you can't see right. That's the thing. The 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 whatever your political leanings like. You they so if you are uh, on the left or in the middle to to the left leaning, your feed is curtailed to yeah to you yeah. So you so basically they demoralize the population by making everyone believe that exact. Because if you look at my Facebook, what I see versus what my guitar player sees is two totally different things. The difference is, is I am aware of what's going on. You're woke. I'm aware. Well, it's like <laughs> I know I know people who work at tech well, okay, companies. Yeah. This is something that they do. Oh yeah. So yeah. everyone's reality. That's why everyone's so mad at each other because they're living in a reality where 99 percent of what they believe is reinforced and controlled. So when and and on the right and the left. So when they come into contact with somebody who has an opposing opinion. They have all the bravado and the force of knowing that they represent what is right. Ooh. And then we have this crazy, fu- and this is all done online. Yeah. And this is why they want, you know, how do you control How do you control people during an election? You have to have their minds controlled. How do you control people's minds? You have to have them engaged with the television or computer constantly. How are you going to get people to stay in? Oh, we, we are, this, it's, this shit, 2020. When it when it comes down, like in 10, 20 years from now, they will look back and disseminate this as one of the largest globalized colluded scams to in the in the history of the world. It's crazy the but, level. But will they though? Or by that point, will it? Well, I mean, we have this. Well, Google you know is notoriously known for erasing history. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. By they, that point, why? They basically these search engines I wish are they had become my God. arrest log. <laughs> but that's the thing is like think about how powerful the the most pro, the most dominant search engines are the most powerful tools mm-hmm. in swaying an election because simply by t- by removing the facts of the candidates that you want to win by removing any negative information about them and only promoting negative information about the opposite like if you go on Google and you you look up Bill Clinton, Jeffrey Epstein, first thing that pops up, Trump and Epstein. Yeah. If you go on Xandex and you put Bill Clinton, Epstein, 40 fucking pictures of Bill Clinton and, and Jeffrey Epstein come up. So oh. you can see, and same thing with DuckDuckGo, so you can see as God. you switch different mm-hmm. search engines, you can tell which technocratic companies are leaning towards which political yeah. party. I have it's, actually switched my main... Uh, usage from Google to DuckDuckGo, yeah. mm-hmm. and social media is doing it now too. You got Parler; they're they're kind of like a mm-hmm. conservatives yeah. that they're they're coming. It's different, man. It's weird. It's yeah. a weird. It's a weird time to be alive. Yeah, you look so, at London Real, like you can't even at this point, you can't you embedding. You can't share links from London Real. It's forbidden on social media. Yeah, especially when they dis. I mean, dude, th- this. I'm like this the the their last episode uh, the the follow up to pandemic is so uh it's so destructive to the st- to the system that I'm scared Brian Rose is going to get assassinated. It's if you wa- I cried 3 times during the course of just listening to it in the car when you and then going and fact checking what they're saying and finding out that it's real what's actually going on right now is beyond i mean the most brilliant genius minds in every aspect of our lives from our political lives to our social lives to social media and the and regular media and the, the entertainment industry all these things and and the pharmaceutical industry dude they all this is is to move all of humanity into a different direction and it is a conspiracy theory right now. Jesus. It's a complete conspiracy theory right now until it happens. And that's how it is. And that's how I look at things. I'm like, wow, like, I'm willing to believe, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I'm not willing to believe. 
There's a lot of things I am. And it's all about motives and following the money. So my belief system is based on understanding, like, you know, if you were a fucking crackhead or a drug addict, you understand being a scam artist. And this, this is a, it's a, it's a huge scam. And it's on so many trauma. We're traumatized. Whether people want to admit it <laughs> or luck. not, we don't even know. <laughs> Good luck airing this one. You know? <laughs> well, everybody, <laughs> like, like yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, They're, feel free to always type in our shit and share it because apparently we have copyright issues, too, because we have a Bad Wolf song. Yeah. Well, yeah, just we're working in case on you it. didn't know, we had the lead singer in here. We're, yeah, we're going to put a new. We're right, gonna, yeah. I'm going to write a special yeah, song just for the show, right, well, and it's listen, only going to air on the show. We got to get out of here, but before we do, Matt, plug me, give me everything I need to know about Operational Athlete. So operationalathlete.us is my website, and you can find everything I'm connected with. Hard to Kill, my brand, my training, my consulting, um, all the stuff I'm doing out on the range. That's all on there. So operationalathlete.us, and then Hard to Kill underscore fitness. Um, you know, follow them on Instagram because we're connected, and that's that's our brotherhood. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Mark's actual. That's it. Mark's that's actual. It. It's not Mark. Oh, um, at Mark's It's not actual. Mark, yeah. But more specifically, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know if we touched on it as much as we should have, but the guy who left the voicemail, mm -hmm. Mark's Actual is my name. Uh, Mark's underscore me. Actual. No, no just, oh, just M-E-R-K-S okay. Actual, yeah. Okay. Um, just message me, reach out. Um, I'll call you and talk to you one-on-one -on -one yeah, because yeah. um, I felt your message and I don't, I don't think we hit it as much as we should, but I definitely want to help you out. That goes for anybody. Yeah, thanks for saying we didn't do it much. Appreciate that. And then, um, hey, Tango underscore Alpha Zero, www.thekinsendoncorner.com, uh, Fire for Effect podcast. And then uh, uh, my buddy Dan Skidmore is going to be dropping the Rogue podcast under our TKC umbrella, uh, the underscore Kensington underscore corner on Instagram. Hit us up. Sick, man. God, if you so didn't get any of that scores. stuff, if you didn't get any of that stuff, hit Pause. fucking rewind <laughs> and, you know, keep rewinding it until you get all those because those are all Do you have a marketing links. manager? I can help you with that. <laughs> yeah, my Instagram is just Tommy Vex. Yeah, it's so, at Tommy Vex. You can yeah. find Tommy at Tommy Vex. You can find me at Shane.Vitco. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, at Deviant Gentleman. Uh, YouTube and all listening platforms. Deviant Gentleman Podcast. You must type it all in because we are shadow banned, copyright, whatever the fuck it is. D E V I A N T G E N T L E M E N T. Deviant Gentleman. Yeah. Mm. And then P O D C A S T. <laughs> um, but yeah, and you can find us at deviantgentleman.com for merch, all that shit. And uh, Thank you guys so much. I mean, this has been yeah, fucking right, amazing. Right, what right, a yeah, great episode. You, and uh, yeah, man, nothing but love. I wish you guys nothing but fucking, you know, and uh, if we have to meet someday. and You said you wish them nothing, nothing but, but fucking. fucking. Nothing but Hell fucking. Hell yeah. I wish you nothing but fucking. <laughs> I'm okay with you. You know? All right. Fucking A. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.